What's going on guys? Welcome to Dreamanoid. I'm Christian and I'm Joey and today we have a really really cool video for you We've had this product for quite a while, but we haven't done a video on it and it's long overdue Today we have the Resolution Audio Cantata. Yep. This is the Cantata 3.0. So um, We actually started selling Cantatas last January and and I think this is uh, One of our bigger pieces here at the shop. Yeah. Yeah, so this is a really interesting piece in that um, it kind of deviates from all of the other stuff that we do. There's, there's secrets that we will not tell today. Yeah, we still, we we have lots of secrets we don't tell y'all. I think I think uh, uh, what that what, should, what that should tell you is that we were so excited when we got it. We didn't even do an unboxing. Yeah, we like, we got to get it open. We didn't do an unboxing and. Um, we literally sold three of these before we even got our floor demo. Yeah, it's true. They're, they're, so, that, they're that popular. Um, now, we'll start off the bat. This is a really unique product. It's a, a CD player. It is a preamp. It has uh, digital inputs, so it has optical inputs. Um, you can fit it with uh, coaxial inputs. It has a USB input. It has an Ethernet input. So, to say the least, um, they actually call it the Cantata Music System. And it's a 3.0, meaning that they've had a 1.0, a 2.0, and this is the third generation. And and one one of the things that you know, as I'm showing it off here in the front, it has this really really unique, like uh, front bezel. Yeah. It's the, no, I'm talking about the the LED. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the LED uh, display up front. Yeah, 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 yeah. This will actually read right here. We'll we'll get a clip of that. But it'll actually read what 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 channel you're on. It'll say Cantata on there. Right. Really, really cool. Sample and, rates, like all kinds of cool stuff. And while we're showing off the back, I actually want to talk about the first time I ever saw a cantata. Yeah. It was actually at Joey, uh, Joey's mentor's uh, condo, Chris and Funk, Chris and Peace. Yeah. Um, we went over to his shop. We we're checking out the Decaros. Yeah. And he was like, "Hey, I just got this new uh, CD player in." And I remember at the time going, "Okay, what's the big deal?" And I saw it light up. I saw that illumination i was like oh okay yeah this is this unlike is anything else. you've ever seen so you want to kind of talk about the ports it's got yeah so it? um like i said it uh so these are the outputs it has rca and balanced outputs it um has a variable volume control so like i said it, you can use it like a preamp and the reason i say you can use it like a preamp is that what you'll see right here are two uh, inputs. You can actually swap these out to be coaxial inputs for digital, like the optical inputs right here. But um, I have these uh, uh, um, as just analog inputs. So we actually run our P10 that we have here uh, into this from the yes, Aria. We, yes, we do. And uh, they they say they're developing moving coil preamp cards for this. So nice. that will be amazing once that comes out. And then it has Ethernet inputs and a USB input. So we actually run the Mac Mini into here. Yep. We run a, uh, the t television into here. And so this this is in our main setup. We use Crimson uh, 640s as power amps for it. And we run the Fine Audio 703s. So I, I think, it. and so Joey, so with that plethora of inputs, who is this for? Uh, well, at the price level that it's at, which is uh, near $10,000, it is for someone that is really, really into digital. It is for someone that, like our customers that have purchased it, are customers that have had either previous resolution audio gear or have had high-end LIN CD players or high-end name CD players. And, and I have seen that. And know, Riga CD players. So there always is that guy, right? That, right. You know, the, there's a turntable guy that swears by vinyl, swears by it, that's right. it. And we, I've started to notice that there's like a little subculture of guys that are like digital, right? All digital. Well, and our customers that buy this, like I've had multiple reactions to this CD player of our customers that have ten thousand dollar, twenty thousand dollar turntables, and they get this, and they're like, I now listen to records and CDs. I yeah. listen to records and digital music. They give them a look at the top here. They got this yeah, yeah. really, really awesome. Yeah, this is like a, a CNC mill, like random and display. What, and we can't stress. I mean, a uh, uh, top, and it's it's metal. It's not plastic. We can't stress the craftsmanship enough on this thing. And that was another thing that drew us to it, is that you could tell yeah. a lot of quality and care goes into it, this product. It's actually designed here in the U.S. Uh, by Jeff Colt and his team, and. Um, it uses an FPGA, 
which is a field programmable gate array. And what that means is that the uh, chip inside of it is actually uh, programmed to work the way it works. So instead of, uh, you know how a lot of companies, they'll have like a, a Burr Brown or they'll have a, a, an ESS chip or uh, just all the analog devices, all these different companies that make chips, right? And you put it in there and that's the chip you have, it's 24, not 192, or it's this or that. And there's a specifications, that's how the chip is made. This has a fully programmable chip. So when resolution audio is like, hey, we have a new design, which right. would typically be a chip design, they can just, you can update this. Oh, yeah, and they also release yeah. firmware updates. Yeah. And the, the, uh, one of our customers, uh, because I like to talk about DSD a lot. Yeah. And he didn't want to hear me. He, he didn't want to hear it because I was jacking around with my PS5. So he actually got the DSD upgrade on this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. And so, yeah, so on this one, it's a firmware upgrade. And what's cool about uh, uh, resolution is that even on older ones, say you have a 2.0 or 1.0, you can get it upgraded to 3.0. And you can also get the updates to like DSD, for example, like we're talking about. And it comes with three optical. I mean, is that enough? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, I want to be clear about the DSD. It plays DSD files. It does not play SACD discs. Because mm, okay. that's something to differentiate. Right, Sometimes right. people get a little confused. But um, you, can, uh, you can hook it up through Ethernet and you can play full resolution DSD files. Um, and I think it's DSD 384. No, wait. I'm thinking of uh, sample rates. It does 384 uh, uh, PCM, sorry, at 24-bit. Um, uh, but the uh, uh, DSD is, is 2.83 or whatever the yeah. one bit sampling rate. So, so guys, you know, like I said, sorry we took so long to do this video, but this is our big boy. This is our our DAC. This is our all digital one and all. Yeah, and people that that kind of wonder, well, well what is where does it fall like within um, digital? I mean, analog. Uh, to me. This is formidable with the top turntables like a Riga P8 within a FETA 3, those kinds of things, um, those, that kind of level of playback. And, uh, and while it costs significantly more, it has the ability to do all the streaming. So we've played Amazon Music HD through it. We play Spotify through it. We're waiting for Spotify HD whenever that comes. We're waiting for all, uh, and we're glad Apple, to see. iTunes is coming out. It's about HD, time. Like, this thing is like perfect. Like we got in a perfect time where digital is really taking off. We have these huge libraries and we have, I mean, we do have hundreds of CDs here at the shop and CDs are just bar none amazing on this play. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they're, they're if you're a CD guy and you're trying to get to the that. The best CD player in the world, like this is probably it. That's our opinion, guys. That's basically what we're here to say. We believe that this is the best CD player period yeah and one of the best uh, digital uh tools that you can have in your arsenal so yeah come take the challenge for yourself come down to the shop and give it a listen and uh yeah we'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching make sure you like and subscribe see you